Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today I'm at 0815 out near Stonewall, Texas, and I am doing a wine review. Yay me! Stay tuned, it's good. Hey everybody, like I said, I am at 0815 out near Stonewall, Texas, and I am here reviewing a very special white wine. The reason why it's special is because it is a white wine blend that I have never seen before. It is 50% Muscat Canelli and 50% Muscat Blanc. So it's a very interesting wine. I'm very excited to try it. And yeah, let's get going. So from a color standpoint, it's a very, it's, it's sort of like a golden color. It's, it's a little bit less dense than a Chardonnay, but very similar in terms of the color profile on that. And I see no artifacts and great transparency. I see no cloudiness, so that's good. Uh, from a nose standpoint, oh, I'm getting good stone fruit flavors on that. And by flavors, I mean aromas because I can't talk right now, apparently. I was getting a good amount of pear, which smells like apple, and a little bit of hint of melon. I'm getting melon in there. Very interesting. It's, it, 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 it sounds weird. It smells like it's going to be crisp. I know it sounds weird. Uh, on the flip side, it also smells like it's going to be dry, which most people don't recognize Muscat as being a dry grape, but it all depends on how you prepare it. So from a taste standpoint, So there's a little bit of residual sugar that's, uh, that's there. You can definitely taste it on the palate, but especially compared to most muscats that you're gonna find, it is a dry grape. The melon is very dominant on this. So, the, so while it, very sh it shows up a little bit on the nose, it shows up a lot on the palate, especially within the finish. You get a very melony finish with probably like a hint of apple or maybe green pear that's associated with it. Yeah, this is, uh, so, okay, so rating. From a rating perspective. Uh, using the new scale that I've been advertising a lot, um, I'm gonna rate this a good. This is a definitely a good wine, especially for the money. Uh, this wine is $23 a bottle. And as I said, per normal wine on the dime kind of guidance, there's a lot of times where you're not going to find a wine under $15 when you go to a winery. But you know what, that's okay, because you're there for the experience, you're there for the wine, and you're there for and you're there for wine club exclusive experiences. So definitely if you have a chance, stop by 0815. It's a very great winery. We're gonna be planting a lot of new vines soon, especially San Giovese if you're interested in that. And I definitely recommend you stop by and try some of their stuff, especially the Scott Blend and the Rosé. The Rosé is really solid. And they're more dev. They're more dev is good too. A lot of their stuff is good. Just stop by the winery and try it all out. Anyway, this is Ms. Stewart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you come to 0815? I'd be interested to know if you have. And in the meantime, I'm going to let one of my friends that I've just met here serenade you out in the outro. Have a great day. Zero eight one five. Yeah, baby.